Hi guys, this is GSN1.com and I'm here with the unboxing of the Huawei P10 Lite. We've already unboxed and reviewed the Huawei P10 and the P10 Plus and this sensor has a nice styling. Is the Huawei PX Lite, so the 10 figures as an X here in a Roman numeral approach. So here we go. This is the handset and this is the box, we're unboxing it right here, so it's priced at around $300 and unlike its predecessor that used metal and plastic, this one has glass, 2.5D glass at the back, 2.5D glass at the front, so the light series has learned something from the Honor series. Okay, a $300 phone that looks swell, we've got the fingerprint scanner at the back and inside the box we've got the following. So here we have the uh, metal key to access the slots. And inside this extra box, we should find the accessories. Okay, so here we go. This is the cable. It's a regular USB cable. It's not USB Type-C, but regular USB. And here are the headphones, pretty similar to what we saw with the P10 and the P10 Plus. And finally, that's the charger with Huawei Quick Charge and the promise to juice up the phone uh, reasonably fast. Other than that, we should also have the manuals here, but we have a test version, so no manuals. Basically, you should also get the manuals, and in some parts of the world, you'll even get an extra case. How cool is that? Now, let's see the phone again. So, Huawei P10 Lite, quite the looker, and this handset comes with a 5.2 inch screen. It's a familiar diagonal, if you ask me, and uh, it's available in a variety of colors like black, white, blue, and gold. It measures 7.2 millimeters in thickness and also it weighs 146 grams. Up front we've got a uh, uh, IPS LCD Full HD panel, while inside there's the High Silicon Kirin 658 CPU, it's an octa-core chipset, accompanied by 3 or 4 GB of RAM and 32 GB of storage. The phone has a dual SIM version, so two SIM slots, there's also a micro SD card slot in the mix, a fingerprint scanner at the back, and I guess it's time for the setup. Skip, agree, agree, you can already tell we're dealing with a new interface here, so it's Android Nougat with Emotion UI 5.1 on top, which is welcome, and new and fresh. Setup was new, setup was new phone, okay. Fingerprint touch control, next, and skip. Get started. So that was a pretty fast setup. Other things we're mentioning here, well, we've got a 8 megapixel shooter for the selfies. And at the back, we've got a 12 megapixel camera with LED flash. Now, let's check out the interface again. Quite sober looking and pretty familiar. We've already played with Emotion UI, the latest version on the Huawei P10 and the P10 Plus. Of course, we have some pre installed apps here like Twitter, News Republic, Instagram, and TripAdvisor, as well as a bunch of games and, of course, Facebook. Okay, so let's check out the um, camera interface. In the meantime, I'll have to remind you that this handset comes with a 3000 mAh battery, which sounds quite impressive for this diagonal. There's also fast charging, GPS and GLONASS, micro SD, and here we have the micro USB port. Now, the camera interface uh, is slightly different from the one of the P10, at least at first sight. So, the font has changed again, or at least it seems so. We got the Pro Mode, we got Pro Video and Video, HDR time lapse, watermark, audio note, document scan, panorama, light painting, and you can download more. And also, you've got your resolution here camera grid, timer ultra snapshot and a bunch of other options my eyes stopped on the all focus feature it's been a while since i last saw it i remember really loving it basically you couldn't play around with the focus uh, even if you didn't have bokeh effect via two cameras now this is it in a nutshell the huawei p10 light stylized as the huawei px light so unboxed here at gsn.com Hope you like the unboxing, we'll be back very soon with a full review. In the meantime, you can get it from Amazon for $300, not bad of a price and also quite the looker. This has been it from us, bye bye.